Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Seminole County, Florida, with the fraudster known as This is a Public Service, as he attempts to use his fraudster skills to get for, uh, service from the local police officers, but gets completely denied because of, you know, his winning personality. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I get some help. This is a public service. Deputy. Deputy, can I get some help? Hey, what's going on? Hey, can I get a complaint form, officer complaint form? Uh, we don't have it here. This is just a uh, break here. Just... You don't have access to a complaint form? I don't have one. What was your name? Uh, I think it's Deputy Dickens. Do you have an identification number? Yes. One two zero one five eight. One two zero. Are you on break or? Well, duh, you brain dead frauditor. He just said this was a break area, so therefore he must be on a break. And you know, normally when people are on a break, they don't want to be bothered. They want to re-energize themselves. So why don't you just make like a tree and leave? Is that what's going on here? Oh, oh, right on there. Hey, uh, deputy. Deputy. Yes, sir. Now, well, then I gotta ask, why is the car running, man? This is a question that's been asked a million times by you brainless buffoons. It's because the uh, electronic equipment runs off of the battery, you moron. And the moment you turn off the car, you turn off the equipment. And that equipment... It takes a while for it to boot right back up. And if you are on a call, you need that equipment to be fully functional, you simple minded buffoon. Was the car running? Yeah, gas because is expensive. Our computers and stuff shut off if we don't have that. So for quicker response, we need to. But you're on break. Briefly, yes. yes so, you know, right? I'm still talking, man. Okay. So you just leave the car on, you don't give a shit about gas being three fifty a gallon? Breaking, yes, sir. Hey frauditor, you really need to look this crap up instead of making yourself look like a look like a complete imbecile because an idling vehicle does not use nearly as much fuel as a, a vehicle that is in motion. In other words, when its engine is using that gas to make the car go in a certain direction rather than idle. I mean, come on now, do a little bit of common research on that. I mean, you'll be pleasantly surprised with what you can find out. Sometimes we do. So how long are you here? I'm not quite sure. You're not quite sure? So how long do you have to be here until you turn a car off? How how I much how much time. gas money do you waste before you actually I turn it off? Alright, so if if one of the people had a question for you and you didn't know the answer to it, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Yes. Yes. The there's five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment of the Constitution. Can you tell me what those five freedoms I'd really are? Like to that's cool, yeah, but that's cool. It, it was about good faith, right? Yeah. And you said you would make that good faith if, effort. If you, have, if you need anything or have a request with it, You heard what I said, right? Yes, but I'm, I'm eating. So you won't make that good faith effort? You lied right to my fucking face? Well, first of all, you are bothering somebody who is on their break. So this whole thing is on you, considering that you are a dishonest frauditor to begin with. So don't accuse him of being a liar to begin with, considering... Also, that you deliberately set up the question to be deceitful. But what can we expect from frauditors anyway? All they ever do is lie about everything. So let's continue on and see what else this uh, douchebag uh, tries to pull. Is that what you're telling me right now? No. 
So you will make that good faith effort? What's up, man? I mean, for real. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Is there something we can do to help you? Yeah, he knows what's up. I just asked him. Okay, is there anything I can help you with? Oh, sure. Do you, uh, do you have an officer complaint form? Like a complaint? We don't have complaint forms. We have, sure you we do. have statement forms. You've got complaint forms. I've gotten them before. Sure you do. I've honestly never heard of anyone how does one? How does one of the people file a complaint they against usually, the deputy? They usually call. They typically call okay. the sheriff's office and... So you've never, and you've never, no one's ever filed a complaint, huh? Not ask for a paper form, though. Okay, they call right, them. right. No, I didn't need to. Well, I'll ask you the same question. If somebody asked you a question and you didn't know the answer to it, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Yeah, I would try to. If, yeah. I, if I knew, like, a, a route to take or, yeah, you know, cool. direct them in the right direction. Cool. So there's five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? No. You couldn't? No, I, I, don't, I don't feel the need to. Not that right. I can, I just don't feel the need to. Is there anything else we can help you with? It was about good faith. Okay, you, I understand that. So you anything make, else I can help you with? So okay. you, that's exact, right in my face. I'm just going to shut it right in my face. Deputy, what was your name? I didn't get your name. I didn't get your name, miss. I didn't get your name, miss. Just be professional. Give me your name. They turn the lights off now. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Further proof, everybody, that they're not out here to serve the people. Just out here to harass and collect. You've got a legitimate question. You've got a legitimate question. And then they say they'll make a good faith effort. And then do they make the good faith effort? No. I call that lying. I call that lying directly to your fucking face. They just lied to my face. They said, sure, I'll make a good faith effort to find out the answer if I don't know it. You ask the question and it's a question that they should know the answer to, but they don't, but they don't. And instead of actually making the good faith effort, what do they do? They just close the door in your fucking face. Well, you dumbass, uh, you did set up the question in such a way that uh, most likely they would have failed the response to begin with and that is the trap right there which pretty much makes you dishonest to begin with which is what all you frauditors are pretty much dishonest freaking morons but anyway dude you sound like you're a little butt hurt from not getting anything you wanted out of here so you should go home and get yourself a warm glass of uh, milk and some chocolate chip cookies to go make yourself feel better so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one